How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games and The Sim Sunday, which is uh, a little bit late. I apologize. Guys, it takes me um, uh, about four hours of recording to do a Sims episode. It requires a lot of time, a lot of editing. Um, the whole process for a Sim Sunday uh, takes a while. I have been so busy with this film I've been shooting in Paris, uh, preparing, rehearsing, etc. I just haven't had time to record The Sims. But nonetheless, let's get into this. We are here, and the baby has been born. The baby, I named it Damien Holiday. Holiday after um, the mother here, Lara Holiday. And outside here, we can see Frank, unsure, still, of... The child's fate. Is it ours or is it not? Well, we're going to find out right now. Right now, we're going to find out. The game is paused as I do this because we don't want to miss anything. Show Frank's genealogy. Now, this is the family tree. So we're going to see now if the baby is ours. Yes. Yes, it is our son. And this is actually a really cool feature because we can go all the way rack to big boobs. And it shows their death. Look at that, big boobs. Oh my god, so much history. She had a son. She had a son, Nipples, who then grew up and gave birth to these three daughters, Tits, Lara, and First. Oh, bless her, First, she died. Now Lara has Jake, and she also has Damien. We don't know if Damien's a vampire, but this is the family tree, and it goes all the way back, and I think it's such a good idea. But now we know! Now we know that Damien is Frank's child. I suspected it, you know, we slept together. Let's unpause the game here. Oh, Lara's getting into her coffin. Last episode, if you remember, we brought a coffin. Man, I don't know how I feel about this relationship. <laughs> it was built on controversy. Why is Frank still panicking? Frank, calm down, it's happened. You have a son. Let's look at this, 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 this baby. Man, is it a vampire? Is it evil? I don't know. I just, I have no idea. Also now guys, there, there, there are toddlers added to the sim. So we're gonna have another life cycle for the baby. We're gonna see him as a toddler and just exactly what comes along with that. I've never had a toddler in the sims 4. And next episode guys, cause in a few days, the sims pets is coming out. The sims pets is coming out guys. And so the next episode, we're gonna be buying a dog. Okay? Or, or, or just fill the house with pets. It's gonna be so exciting. I can't wait to bring that to the game. Oh look, here comes Tits! Wait. Oh, that's the maid. That's okay. I'm a bit defensive now. <laughs> Since, you know, Lara is a predator. And possibly our baby is. Tits, do you, do you want to come and see the... Where did Tits go? Oh, she ran off. Okay. She's always jogging in this area. Frank! Frank! You haven't paid attention to your new son. Come. Say hello. Frank holding his baby boy. Look at that. That's adorable. And he wants to play basketball. No, Frank, bond with your son. We've just found out it's yours. All right. It was an accident, but it could be the best accident that ever happened to you, Frank. Oh, the baby's also smelly. We're going to have to, like, change. Yeah, so, uh, yes, but we're changing the we're changing the diaper. Don't worry. Um, coo at. Let's coo at it. It's adorable. It's adorable. Bounce. Let's bounce the baby. What does that mean? Hopefully not on the floor. Okay, there we go. Wow. What was that? It. Frank, you got to make more of an effort. What does Lara do? Oh yeah, she's sleeping because it's like the daytime, isn't it? And she needs to build her vampire energy. Vampire energy is very important to Lara because, you know, the sun can kill her. Very quickly if she doesn't have enough vampire energy, you know? So, oh, you know, we got to build, like, a, a room for, for the kid. Because it's not going to be a baby forever. It's not going to fit there in the corner forever. I'm not sure if we have enough room. <laughs> I may have to lose the pool. We've never used the pool. You know, I'm, I'm going to have to lose the pool. Like, I think, like, next episode we'll build, like, um, nursery there for the baby. Because right now, I think, it's, I think it's okay to be in our room for now. You know? Oh, Lara's awoken. Oh, my God. The way she gets out of there is fabulous. Oh, she's going to go see the baby. We're going to cuddle the baby. That's right, Lara. There's Tits. Tits, come and see your niece. She's got another son, though. 
<laughs> you know, this is what I really feel like she needs to bond with her other son. Ah, I hope she doesn't eat him. <laughs> I, d I don't know how these vampire rules work. No, don't do that, Lara! You scare the baby! All we want to know now is, is, is the baby a vampire? That's what I want to know. Doesn't look like a vampire. I don't know. Okay, so the baby is happy. We're good parents so far. Frank is just watching TV. You know now. Oh, okay. Oh, that's nice. We're just so happy. Despite all the controversy surrounding our relationship, we're pretty happy. Lara going back in now to make sure the baby's okay. It's all going to be about the baby now, whilst the baby is yes at this stage. Nope. All right. So here we go. Like, you know, th this is the family now. This is what we have to deal with. Like, I feel we ha we should invite Jake around at some point. Because, you know, he hasn't really seen the baby. He hasn't seen his mum. I don't know if they if they get on anymore. Like, what's going on? I'm going to get Frank to call him over. Well, let's get Jake over here, you know? I don't want any bad blood to, to be between us, you know? I, I want us to be like family, you know? Maybe Jake can move in if he wants to. I, I don't mind that. Here comes Jake. Here he is. Strapping young man. He just looks like nipples so much. Ah, uh, here we go. No, Lara, get inside. Why are you going outside? Lara, you need to get inside. You're you're burning. Oh, you know, at least at least they're happy. You know, they're still they're still getting on. Man, he's like a spitting image of nipples. I can't believe how much he looks like nipples. Oh. Oh. He seems impressed that his mum can turn into a bat. Yeah, talking with Jake and everything is great, but, you know, <laughs> come inside, please. I don't know how long it takes to, to set you on fire, but... Or even if that happens, but I don't want it to happen, you know? There's a lot of kids in the area. There always has been. So, you know, at least, like, little Damien will have friends, you know, when he's all big and strong. The baby is not going to be a baby for long. It needs to be growing pretty fast. I'm going to have to build that thing now. Um, let's build the baby a room. Like, little Damien has to have a room. Right. Let's, um, let's build it here, I guess. We're extending our family, and we're also extending our house, you know? Ooh, starry patterns. That's cool. I'm feeling the blue, though. The blue camo type thing. That's nice. A bed for a boy. Shall we see what a bed for a boy should be like? Oh, this is nice. You know, I'm, I'm liking this. Yeah, he's gonna love it. Look at the stars, you know? They look great. There we go. That's nice. I know flowers aren't really boyish, but you know. Screw it. <laughs> Other than toys, right? Gotta have some toys up in here. Wait, I'm gonna replace the bed for this thing. Like, it looks pretty cool. Right? It's a race car bed. How, how cool of a dad am I? Mrs. Meows. Let's put loads of toys around here because I feel the more toys, the better. Oh, there's a giant ass teddy bear. We we do need that. Every kid needs a giant ass teddy bear. Even though that'll probably scare shit out of him. But, you know, it's fine. It's okay. A little bit of color, maybe some dinosaurs. Oh, it's cute, right? It's cute. Eventually, there's going to be a desk in here uh, with a computer. But, you know, he's not at that age yet where, um... He's ready for a, a, a high-end gaming PC. See, they're like balloons, but they're lights. They're cute, right? Look, the little balloons are floating away. Unicorns. Who doesn't like unicorns? Fucking ghost. That's that's cool. Bank. Hello, we got like a piggy bank there now, like a children's bank. That's cool. An awards. Hasn't won any awards yet. You know, could be best son award. Screw it, it's going there. Some trains there. Model car. Do you want a model car? Boom, it's done. Got so many toys. You're spoiled already. There we go. I think that's done now, right? All right, now can we move the baby into there? Yeah, we can move the baby into there. So the baby is now in here. Uh, and eventually we'll go into the bed. So that's done, right? Yeah! We've got a little door there so we can see what they're doing, you know? When he's the age where he can have an iPad, we can just look through like, Wh Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? <laughs> The Humor Hearing Festival is in town. All right, there's a festival in town, but we got a kid now. You know, we can't really be going out that much. That's what happens. Her vampiric energy. Jake is still here, using the computer. He seems to be not affected by the family issues we've struggled with. There we go. Wonderful. 
Wonderful parenting, Frank. Who knew you had it in you? Huh? Who knew? Oh, Lara is awake. <laughs> Man. It's just kind of off-putting that she's a vampire, you know, still. We know her back from when she was yes. Lara. We just asked her about her vampire history, and she said, look on the computer. Vampire serial. Search for information on vampires. Let's try and look more into this. Like, maybe there's a cure that we can give to Lara. I don't know. Frank is delving deep into researching vampires. There seems to be a lot of knowledge he could unlock if he continues to research. And here comes Lara again. And, you know, we're constantly taking care of this baby. You know, it's taking over our lives. But that's what happens, you know? Oh. Oh. Okay. I think we're breastfeeding. Okay. Alright, we've seen someone outside. And Lara, you know, needs to drink. Oh, okay. She's back again. We, we met her last time. Oh, look, Tets is coming, and you're feeding. Oh. It's like it's nothing to her now. Lahole is now a minor vampire. <gasps> She's started... Oh, no, right, Grandmaster Vampire. Keep using powers, researching vampires, and talk into other vampires to experience more. All right, she's leveled up. Does that mean that we've got more skill points? We have. Okay, what have we got? Uh, we got... Three. We have to take a weakness, though. Okay, I think we're going to put a weakness into the sun. We'll try and keep her indoors more. Garlic immunity. Well, that seems good. We're now immune to garlic as well. And we got a spare point as well. Cast humiliation. Okay, well, there we go. We've got, um, we got our powers now. We're leveling up as a vampire. And we're going to see our sister. It's pretty cool. To know about you. Good to see you. Why don't you come see the baby? Come see the baby. Come see the baby, tits. So this girl, like, keeps popping up around. She comes around from time to time. Um, not sure who she is. But, um, you know, I assume she's one of Frank friends. I'm just nervous, you know, because usually at this point... Oh, what's that? Usually at this point, I, I get so suspicious because, you know... <laughs> Sims just... <laughs> She's a vampire. Oh, okay. Frank's going to bed because it's night time. Okay, maybe Lara can like learn some stuff. Her and Lara are up now. Like, Frank has gone to bed. The baby is asleep. Everyone else has gone home. Whoa. Whoa! What happened? What was that? What was Lara doing to her? hallucination okay is that what she tried to do and she couldn't do it oh god oh she's right over here oh she can't go on. I think she went to go on the computer Lara's there okay well that like Frank invited her in oh damn Right, so they're now talking, like, you know, Lara needs a few girlfriends, and who better than a, a, than a vampire, you know? They could learn off each other. Vampiric Spa. Oh, God, we have to see this. What does this do? Are they going to test their powers against each other? Oh, my God. Oh, damn! Oh, shit! Whoa! Oh my god, is this like a real fight? Jesus! Oh, Lara whooped her ass. Oh no, it's a friendly thing. Damn! Quest vampire training. Wait, she can help us. She's gonna train us. Like she's she's a higher level vampire than us. Alright. Mention it. All right, so she's training us now. We've got a trainer. She's gonna help us climb the vampiric ranks. We've already beaten her in a fight, which I guess is pretty good, right? Oh. Oh, we're learning. We're learning. She's teaching us like everything she knows. This is good for Lara. I'm glad Frank brought her in, you know. Lara's, you know, been quite alienated since she's been a vampire. But now she has a friend she has something in common with. 
Lara has begun her training. You know, she's becoming a better vampire. Okay, the baby is going to grow up soon. You know, it's it's going to become a toddler, and then we've got potty training. What first steps? All this stuff that wasn't there before in The Sims 4. And also next time we've got the the pets. We've got new pets coming into the home. Dogs. You know, and Lara can just continue her training. You know, she's rebonded with her son and her sister's still there. So we don't know what's going to happen with them next. So this episode, Out of the Mall, hasn't really been the most dramatic. But that's what, that's what The Sims is, you know. We just play it and whatever happens, happens. One person we haven't seen in a while is Vlad. We don't know where Vlad is. He's responsible for all this. You know, is he going to come back? You know we don't you. know. So what's going to happen next episode, guys? What dramas lie in wait for our Sims? And what what pet are we going to choose? We have to wait and see. But so far, it looks like things may be finally returning to normal-ish. <laughs>